Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Bandit. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Good evening, everybody. Good afternoon, wherever you are, and good, good early morning if you're getting up early. And um, yeah, welcome to another story of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, this time we're going to do it a little bit different. Uh, we're going to do a darker Arthur, one who's a bit of a dick and um, likes to kill people. So they expect a lot of shooting. And a lot of antagonizing of other people. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here. And you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Miss? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But. We're gonna ride. Get indoors, son. All uh, right, guys. So I want to say hello to everybody. Okay. Hello to Karina. Happy birthday. If you want to wish Karina happy birthday, uh, put on, exclamation go. HB so in chat. We're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. Uh, hello, we'll Karina Jellyfish. How are you? This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Who else is in the chat? I'm not sure who else is in here at the moment. Um, but hello to everybody that's here. Thank you very much. Careful over this bridge here. Hey Clan Snorlax, welcome. The gang's all here, almost. Ride next to me, son. Don't want to lose you. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkertons tailing us in this. Pinkerton. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. Hey, the only one I can on you. Thank you very much for the raid. Right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Hey, I am Hayes Wisher. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for raiding. Wait. 
Is that someone coming to us? Thank you. Thanks for joining the Highlanders. You up ahead. Who's there? Hi right, everybody. Yeah, what a rat. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jerry. Hey, thanks for that. That's too bad. Davey yeah, that's was weird. a real fighter. Both of them didn't work. Er, was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we Thank you very much, Spike. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Michael. Oh, I forgot how loud this this part Ask of the story is. Seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Michael? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. Yeah. Hey, have you seen him? He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Coming past. Yeah, okay. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. Yeah, we lost a few fun. folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm Where feeling good. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Mm, thanks. I hate you, Al. I hate you, Micah. Oh, I'd God like to shoot you. Snow gets right to the bone. So how is everybody's day going on this fine, rainy okay. Sunday? Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's... Hey, what are you doing? I thought we were getting off. <laughs> uh, maybe not rainy for you, but rainy for me. Rainy for you. Let's hitch up here. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, Speak I'm behind yourself. that way. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Excuse me! 
Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. Need... So, There's a body food in the wagon. I hear you. Just keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! It's goddamn Dutch! Over there! More of them! Hit the ambush! How the hell do it? Okay, he's dead. That's my boy, Arthur. Good shooting. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, oh, don't bring nice. the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Of course we need whiskey. Everybody needs whiskey. Oh, starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the... Hide bad. That was the first battle done. Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Cigarettes. I really did a play. Did a number on this place. 
Yeah, nothing else here. Alright, let's go. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Yeah, that's where I'm going, Dutch. The little little cabin boy is gonna go and check the to rob some train gonna blow the tracks no, I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done oh I don't know anything else <laughs> Mm -hmm. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. All right. Let's get the horse. My what the hell do you think you're doing? Catch him wild, they ain't ya. Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yes. Are you Oh, my God. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. Uh, say you. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Oh, oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. They lost this thing. They... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't okay. stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. Well, we could stand by the What's fire and get warm. Miss? Miss. No, no Adler. Use wasting the heat. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband.
ouchies. Alright, it's always a good start that first mission. Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Mike have found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Mm. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, you know, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, uh, Miss Tiller, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's going to be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. <laughs> Miss O'Shea, I'll show you the way. Looks like a Mr. grizzly Morgan, bear. <laughs> we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Uh -huh. uh, oh, okay, yep. Nice and cold. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. Ah, oh, that's all right. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. Oh, little He's Johnny. got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? Who says I'm gonna do You're the it. two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. Mm. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. Fine. Thank you. I'm gonna shoot him. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Mm. Can't skip this one. I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Come on. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Mm. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. 
Watch out for this crevice. Oh, thank you. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. Not sure why my, my alert wasn't well, working, but thank you, Nitro. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Is it by Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. I think uh, too many, too many R's. No joke. Yeah, should be one less R. Careful, it's getting narrow here. Fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there, boy. Come on now. Hey, look! Over there! You see that? Mm, yeah, maybe. No. Oh, yeah, dead horse. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Oh, Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. Come on. All right, let's go. Come oh, on, well, we've got to save little John boy. You sure about this? Coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. In the end of that, we're high up here. You're telling me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. Here. This is not scary at all. Stay low under here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Come on. That sounds closer now. Okay. Come on. Calm down, princess. We're coming, John. Here are your sh your knights in shining armor, coming to save your butt again. Damn, it's cold. Yeah, I'm coming. How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. 
I know. Here, take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for the snow. Let's keep moving then. That's good. Let's drink something that takes John, our health. Can you hear me? John, you there? John! Marston, you hear me? I'm here. Out on the ledge. That's John. We're coming. He's down here. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. <sighs> All right, come on. You Let's get so your good. sorry little baby I butt out of here. Good neither. <clears throat> Freezing. Yeah. Yeah. We all are. Uh, we all are. Uh, not just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Oh, sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Uh, it's the woolly. Look up there. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go! I'll draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Yep, leave them to me. <coughs> We're getting you out of here. Here! Draw them off us, Arthur. Over here! Hey! Over here! Laughing now, huh? What are you doing, Arthur? Come on, boy. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. Uh, shut up, you crazy Cuban. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, you knew a fella? Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Not until I've had my 20, min 20 minutes with you and my fists. <laughs> you still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. All right. That bullet in Blackwater, <laughs> now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? 
Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Nah. Here, let's cross to the left. That's just a, that's just yeah, a Thursday. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. <laughs> Looks like a shaving accident. Yeah. Can we get some help? <laughs> Need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, now I can, there now I can tell you off. Ay, careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. you. Got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems east. are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <laughs> cool. All right. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. You gotta have a coffee now. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. We're safe here. Let's go and see. Warm enough. Yes, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. Yeah. All right, Pearson. What does your fat butt want? Oh, you passed out drunk already. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? Uh, well, 10 now. I think two died. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. Yep, because he ate everybody when we else. ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Mm. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Okay, let's go. <coughs> I like Charles. He's not bad. Yeah. He took it. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Scare the crap gun. out of me. Thank you, Nitro. Scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. I imagine. All right, let's head out. You should save. You should save that for every time you hear John Marsden getting um, yelled at by his wife. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. 
You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. Riding north from Blackwater, mm. getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. <coughs> Just like to think back, y'all. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Hmm. <laughs> I might just put a cooldown on the uh, sounds so they're not too close together. Let's see if we can get some deer. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Hold. Get on the horse, huh? tracks. There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. Keep down. Move quietly. Sounds and like slowly. a plan. You see the tracks? Mm -hmm. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Right, the slow bits. Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. That's okay. Try again. Missed it. Sorry, guys. Where is it? I ran away. Uh, with no 
full stamina. Yeah, it's a pain in the backside. You guys just hold on a sec, please. Uh, sorry. A few girls decided to have a loud conversation in the kitchen. Take your time. No stamina left. Yo. <laughs> yeah, buy my car, yeah. Just wounded it. Better go put it out of its misery. Yeah, 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 Dad. Go and use your knife on her. It'll be the quickest. There you are. <laughs> Done. Okay, that'll do it. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. Yeah, you can go you back. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine. Stabby, stabby, yeah. Shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Damn lazy horse.
Alright, have a seat. Hopefully there's a decent stew in this. Ready to head back when you are. Come on then. Let's head back. <laughs> nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You yeah. found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Yeah, we'll oh, see about that. It. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Yeah, we'll see about that. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. <laughs> you would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Oh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... Yeah. We've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. Nasty. Not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. It's <sighs> crazy. The whole snow takes on a different look and feel when you're playing story as opposed to playing online. It's so much better. Watch out! A bear up ahead. There's a bear in there. Let's see if we can find another way around. Not really? You must be real hungry. Stay well back. <laughs> hmm, thank you. I'd have preferred to shoot the bear. Cut up here. Off the trail. Yeah. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Crazy up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. Oh, really? Not at all. You're pissed at you for wasting ammo. No, you can run it alone. No problem. 
I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> he taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. Yeah. He always sees us right. That's a pretty good point. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill <laughs> and Brown Jack. He's Brown a drunk, Jack. miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Buck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Whoa! I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise! Found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. <laughs> it's his sad way of showing affection. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> now shoot, get lost. Unless you're a countess. Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> you go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Right. I like skinny huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. Wow. <sighs> all in from Winonia forever. Woohoo. Any food for the horse? Yeah, 
Good boy. Because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. The last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole? always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place there are O'Driscoll's about? Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. Hmm. Benonia, did you lose all your points? What's that? Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. And the bear. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but mm -hmm. this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. Now. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he yeah. did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's see, how this will end. I see smoke. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Dutch is a prick. Oh, there. Hold up here. Whoa! All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Ready. Now, Ready, Mr. Mr. Music. We're gonna head up here a little, 
See if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell. Yep. You two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela. You two hold position here. Let's go. Can I get my guns off my horse? Oh, okay. What are you doing? Let's go on foot from here. Okay. I'm gonna get to get my guns out or not? I don't know, was it? I don't know, you better time, time mark it down. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh, you can't tell no one to join you. Any pirates. One hour and eight minutes into the stream. That was a, I can't run. Like jog crouch. Gonna do take them all with my knife. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why so slow? Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, I know where I, I was wrong. I went the wrong way, that's why. Good job. <sighs> Brain fart. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? Yeah, I, I so. wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I thought he went down there. Him. That was a brain part. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Oh, thanks, Dutch. Yeah, no worries. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. Yeah. What do we got here? All right, little loop. Good. Come on, let's.
Let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Oh, right. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Yes. Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's go shoot some mofos. Come on, that you walk like a constipated penguin. Watch out. This bit steep. Hey Lee, welcome. That's alright. You made it. Did you get enough sleep? Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. End of Edwin. Red Dead Redemption. First. Both of them. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Anybody seen Liam? Thanks, Connor. Stay low. Oh, now you tell me to stay low. You've been standing upright the whole way down. Come on, follow me. Yes, boss. Yes, Bona. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. We don't have time to debate this. Okay, I'll go first.
bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. Yep. You can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought. You're in. If you can dodge a cow, you can dodge a ball. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the fort! And watching. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest. Heavy. Uh, all right. Sorry, I died there. It's not one that. Need the money. Ooh, six stars. Get okay. over here. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. What do you want? Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. 
Bill, go search that wagon there. Mark, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. We're in, right, guys. Man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Leviticus Mount back Cornwall. up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us. Hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. Yeah, That's yeah. who we are. Oh, shit. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, yeah. indeed we will. Mm -hmm. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Make some ground. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Go, go. <laughs> ah. You got the wrong feller. Not so fast. <laughs> Save your breath for screaming. No, please! Mm. 
You're going to spend 48 hours with Abigail. She's going to just nag you into submission and you'll tell us everything you've got and everything you know. You're hurting me. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. They don't tell me nothing, I swear. I don't know nothing real about him, honest. I don't want to die, mister. Are you trying to test me, is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay? Not one more goddamn <laughs> word. Am I clear? Okay, yeah. okay. That's two bones right there. Give him to Bill for 48 hours. Of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Hmm. Nice and evil, that is. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all uh, we'll thank get you. Is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas. Does need shooting? Save fellas. Is need saving and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find no worries. Thanks for dropping in. What you need. I can't mm. believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. I ain't an O'Driscoll. Listen, uh. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, oh, cool. we gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. So it's a, it's a movie to watch then. Hey, if you want to wish um, Karina happy birthday, push exclamation HB. Or exclamation Karina with three R's. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and... Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to go? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. The interrogator is here. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. Mm. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living, yeah, even you. Good. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just, I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? 
Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like so he's a sugar daddy. To share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Right. And me with all my shitty Everyone weapons. Ready? All right, let's head out. Yep. In front of you. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, <laughs> deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Uh, Cornwall's private car. Uh, you and me, Morgan. Great. Hey, have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Mm. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Yes, Buana. Come on. Let's ride. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that. I was just saying um, that with crappy guns. I'm gonna do the Master Hunter so that I can go and buy the. Um, the offhand holster. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. And I... Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Mm -hmm. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Yeah, yeah. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Eh, so. Pick out Bill. Uh, yeah. yeah. How you getting on? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. 
Go nice. ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Yes. Thank you for the awkward fart. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan. All of you, no mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Don't matter, it's not gonna blow up. Gentlemen, it's time. Did you hear something? I thought I just heard something. Good luck. Must have been my imagination. All you, you all know what to do. <laughs> It was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Nah. Get out of the way, boys. Here we go! Here we go! I'm slipping! Oh, shit! Now stop yelling! Huh? Oh, oh, shit, shit, shit! Oh. Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell! The others are down! Okay, thank you. Come on, we need to stop this train. Oh, great.
You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Mm -hmm. Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Mm. More of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corp. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now, light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, not step back, fellas. Get on up there. Search that train. Does everyone want to push into me? Assholes. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. You're just gonna oh, stand God. there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all Shut the work. The yeah, fuck up. No kid one did cares. good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. Thank I'll give you. you that. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Perfect placement. Come on. Come on. Get in there. There. See? That's how it's done. Mm -hmm. Shit. It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices. Blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? No, it's a lot of sugar. sugar. 
Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. Ah, uh, sure. You can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. <laughs> No one survives. You're right. Well, that was a little bit different than the last time. Put that book away and go help. So we're getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> That's appropriate quote for tonight. I'm just going to mute the sound for a second. So you just have my voice. I forgot about this. I don't know why it's playing. Still playing. Get us out of this 
my fault. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, okay. You so it right, should be okay. Does everything look all right. Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up! <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite! Is you want back on? Think. If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, <clears throat> get in. I'll tell you. Yep. Let's go. Stay on this trail. Uh, thank you. The thank you, thank you, thank you. Karina, you're giving me so many gifts on your birthday. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? <clears throat> well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. That's true. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it <laughs> sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Oh. So, what happened to your child? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned <laughs> fast. Oh, Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction <laughs> on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been oh, through thank a couple you, of Karina. times. That's very sweet. There's a thank you very much. town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. Horse poop Now how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. 
you and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. Mm. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's get the can. for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Go on there and get on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? No. Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Thank you, survive. thank you very much. For now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. <clears throat> then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? Tahiti. This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, yeah. gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone <laughs> to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Hmm. More 
common sense. All right, we're in chapter two. Mm. All right, so probably just stretch it out another 25 minutes. Uh, thank you very much, Spike. Thank you. Got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. Hmm. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a mm. whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> All right, got camera. Where's... Where's that idiot that cooks? Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing okay. at all. For the mm. first time in weeks, nothing. Uh. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. Mm -hmm. And I ain't losing it now. So you're the O'Driscoll, huh? I'm the fellow tied to the tree, so... Ah, it stinks a coward right around here. <laughs> You're the one to talk. Drop the tough act. It's getting embarrassing. What are you trying to do here? I don't think I've ever been less intimidated. You wait. Very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Thanks, Pearson. Good morning. You sicken me. Oh, no, not this. Don't be an idiot, Arthur. Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, y you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Money do I have? Hello. All right, let's just go into town. what I can get in town. Get all my guns sorted out and then, um, yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll do some grinding off screen. 
but I will not do any side missions. I'll do wait until I'm on screen for those. And that way um, I can show off all the missions. Uh, last time I did a few off screen um, and then I rushed through it. So this time I'm going to be a little bit slower and methodical. I don't think you should just be Schools, yeah, kiss my buttocks. Yeah, so I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by those old Driscoll's. He said I'll I'll do the grinding, you know, off screen, um, and I'll I'll do all the missions and the side missions and all the fun stuff on camera, so to sort of speak. Um, that way. Yeah, you guys don't miss out. Yeah. So we're gonna go to... The gun shop first. Look out. Oops. You're new to shop? Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Ah, uh, let's have a look. Twenty one dollars. Gonna buy. Get that for free. Need to buy ammunition. But it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Well, I'm new for now. Peter, I've got already. Carry it with pride. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. A little do for now. Mm. Ammunition wise. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Yours now. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Yeah. All right, that'll do for now. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Hmm. First thing I want to buy is this thing for you. And that should be good. Gonna sort me out just Thank for you. now. Morning, mister. Just back off. Like the use for car while train robbers. I'll shut that big old mouth of yours. I'm Tell talking. It. Time to bed you down. Go uh, on it. Uh, so teach him a lesson already. Let's see if I can Thank you. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Hehehehe. My horse is betraying me. Don't betray me, horse. Okay, boy. Yep. <sighs> okay, I have to ask a question. Did I shoot that guy or... Someone else shoot you. Because I don't know what happened there. Twenty dollars. 
a bounty. I didn't even get my shotgun. Yeah. Oh, did I have slept in with a gun? Yeah, because I, I, yeah, I don't know what happened there. made mistakes. I know I have. Hmm. I guess so. Need to go make some money. Alright. One job before I go and then uh in the stream. Need a hand with your horse? Sounds good. <laughs> Shit. It's my fault, not my fault. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here, pal. Sure. I'm not sure.
on button. Good job, good job, Steve, good job. There's a pamphlet I just picked up. More stimulants. Interesting. Legendary fish area. Right, we'll head back, back to camp. So who redeemed Baby Shark? Did it play? Didn't play. Thank you very much for the baby shark. That's okay. Don't worry. All good. Ow! Oh, whoa, whoa! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So. While the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. Oh, that's okay. I got some errors to run. Uh, I don't know why it's such Go a long delay. The horses are ready. If you're going to take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. 
you ladies are gonna love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Right, so this will be the last mission for the episode. Whoop. Ladies, play us a song. <laughs> yeah, 60 seconds. I'll have to check that out. Thanks. back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too, if I leave him. Come on, Arthur. Whoa there. Easy. Whoa. Get easy that there. is the gentleman. The free sound effects are on the screen, there's a little pink Here. thing. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine's. <laughs> Okay, see You're that crappy song right there? Fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. <laughs> sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, lady. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Oh, really? There's always on the right. Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What are you doing this for? Look where you're going, buddy. All right. Here we are, just like I said. Got twin horsepower. What are you doing? <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. 
Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. It's because he fell asleep. You I have to have a one shot of man, this man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. Mm. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. I was hoping to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Watch your profanity. Right, I'm sorry. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Where's the salt and meat? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. There's no lamb here. What are you talking about? Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should be a trip. Uh... Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists mm. heading to San Denis and then cruising Ooh. off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. Mm. Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle, look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Yeah. Can I help you, sir?
No trouble now, please. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. <laughs> friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! <gasps> what the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. <sighs> Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, Get buddy, down. come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Hey, Just on it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. That chicken. Get away, buddy. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Are you crazy? Out of the damn way. Hey, what's your problem? Hey, my horse. Whew. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. A shitty horse, anyway. So, Come on, Because my horse is not going to come to me, so. Alright, I think I'm going to. He did the same. Yeah. Alright, so what I think I'll do is. Is finish it up here. Um, this is episode one. 
But, um, I don't know if I can set up a camp here without my horse, but we'll see. Yeah, I might be able to... Oh, she wants to see me run into a tree. Sure, well, maybe I can set up a camp here just outside of town. So I'll save here. Um, next episode will be next Sunday, episode two. And uh, yeah, so I think that's where we'll finish it. As I said, we'll do some. I'll do some grinding uh, off camera to spare you that. But um, in terms of of side missions and missions, uh, I will only do those in the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, what I wish Karina a happy birthday. I hope she had a great day. Or having a good day um, and yeah I I was planning on having giggles sing you happy birthday in Chinese but uh, she's not feeling so well so couldn't do that today but yeah it was great thanks very much for you guys and your support thank you to all you new people that came in and watched uh, please give me a follow if you want to see more um, and I will catch you in the next one, which is Tuesday with House Flipper. And um, Red Dead will be back next Sunday. Um, stay tuned. Uh, if you're interested in, in uh, joining the Discord, uh, put the link in chat. Uh, feel free to join. No, no hold. I mean, come in, have a chat. Find out when the streams are on and um, if you have any suggestions you can put your suggestions in so thanks guys yeah i know i see smoke too but that'll have to wait till next time um yeah so thanks very much and uh, have a good sunday or monday no it's not monday good sunday it's still it's still monday in most places maybe not new zealand uh but yeah have a good one and um i'll catch you in discord um after this and um yeah thanks have a great day bye bye